First practice, what's your, uh, what's your expectation for the guys as they finally get back on the field? Nobody get hurt. That's the first thing. No, we're really excited, Grant. You know, to, to come back out first day of football. You know, the pros are up and running, and you know, Division One's up and running. Now it's our turn to finally get going, and and we're really chomping at the bit uh, to get going. We have a lot of great kids out here. Coaching staff's been together for for a long time now, so I just think our expectations are to, to really play at a high level, but really take this first week to really work on the basic fundamentals and just get really good at all the little things, and then try to explore from there uh, once we know what we're doing. Uh, you have a lot of pieces coming back from a team that went 10 and 2, uh, went to the went and won the Mineral Water Bowl last year. Uh, talk to me about some of the leadership on this team. Eight All Americans, uh, preseason All Americans, uh, some really good players with a lot of experience. Just tell me about the leadership. Well, the leadership is, is awesome. I mean, we really do have great kids here. And, you know, offensively with John Taglin and Jake Lilla and Theo Burkett, those are our three captains on the offense. Pat Lazar is the captain on our defensive side. I mean, we got Kyle English over there. We got. Um, Ryan Gertz, we got Ian Murray, we got you know Morgan, we got you know all kinds of kids. And then you look at some of the skill positions offensively. You know you still have guys like Josh Micas, he's only a sophomore. Alan May, he's only a sophomore. So the leadership on our team is really pretty young. And then you got a couple seniors who've been around for 110 years. So it's really fun to to see those guys blend together, have one mission, and that's to be the best football team we can be. Quarterback position seems pretty settled. What are you looking for out of John this year? We're just looking at him to really manage everything and, and may be a big play guy. Um, he puts the ball down the field so well. Um, he's got a great arm, great vision. He can change things. He's just like another coach on the field right now. And for him to be playing in his sixth year of college football um, with his injuries and so on, it's a chance for him to really come out and play at the very, very high level. I think he's, as long as he stays healthy, um, he could be one of the best this year in the country. Uh, you never try to replace a guy who leaves, but how do you replace the production that Rayon Simmons brought last year? Well, you do it differently than we did last year. Rayon was a horse. I mean, he, he carried the ball 30 times a game. Uh, we won't do that this year. We got Theo Burkett back. We got Chichi Ojika back. We got Paul Preston, Jordan Koss. We have a lot of these guys that, that are ready to go now, and they might all get 10 or 12 carries instead of a guy have 30. And because uh, each one of those brings a different nightmare to the defense, and uh, so we're pretty excited about that. First practice of the year, what's the one thing you want to see out of the guys today? I just want to see them bouncing around, having fun, enjoy the game. They've worked so hard, you know, ever since we left the bowl game field down at Excelsior Springs to get to this point. I mean, there's a lot of work that's been done in between. And uh, they're, they're, you can tell they're bouncing around and just ready to have some fun playing the greatest game in the world.